to the third Zen podcast. Uh, look, guys, I am back. I am well and truly back. Uh, it feels like I've not been here or so for like three years, you know, like in those three years I've been up and down, but on bigger picture, bigger scale, uh, I've pretty much just been down the whole time. For a while now, I've had friends and met people who reached out for my help. And even in my crappy down state, I was able to help them out, if at least for a moment, so that when they left me, they felt good. Um, but now I'm pretty sure, in retrospect, that those moments were probably only fleeting at best and maybe just a band-aid solution. I've been getting away with doing the bare minimums for what feels like years. A couple of Facebook posts a day, an Instagram post, you know, I rarely pick up the phone. I've not checked my email in years, maybe three years. For years, I've been buying myself an item off eBay a week, uh, usually something really small, around you know, $20, $20, $30. I suppose you'd call it like retail therapy. I get a visit from the mailman once a week with some goodies. Uh, it makes me happy and usually I um, blog about it and, and all that kind of stuff. But if I look in my closet at the moment, I've got boxes full of goods that I haven't opened. That's just nuts. I mean, I was too busy thinking about having to read the instructions or having to take a photo of it and blog about it. It just became work and that was just meant to be pure like retail therapy, you know. Recently, when my new mic got in, for example, the one that I'm using right now, uh, you know, ripped the box open and I was straight into it. So, you know, I really know I'm, I'm well and truly back. I'm so acutely aware that I've hit the reset button this time around and I've been thinking a lot about it, thinking about why couldn't I hit this reset button before to get me out of shitty times and how can I help others to hit this reset button for real, as opposed to just kicking them in the ass and making them feel better for, you know, the, the moment that they're hanging out with me or, you know, maybe the short time after hanging out with me. Is this a timing thing or is it something that you can plan uh, or is it something that you can rush? You know, it might have been a long time coming, but I can at least pinpoint the exact moment I flicked the switch. The moment happened on my recent trip to China where I found my family roots in a little village in Xiamen. We had a glorious lunch on the day that we visited my grandpa's place of birth. The village men drink three bottles of wine per day per man, smoke like chimneys, work on the rice fields, kill chickens and cook them for dinner. I mean, we had a lot of wine and it was flowing. At some point, something took over me and I spoke out in front of the entire family. I spoke in Indonesian as well. I speak Bahasa pretty badly, but, you know, I've honestly never been confident enough to speak it in front of people who speak it as their first language. Uh, back in the day, even when I was hanging out at Top One Auto, all the guys are Indo there, and, you know, I'd, I'd say something in Indo, and everyone would laugh at how bad my accent was. So, um, so yeah, I tried my best to, to, to speak in Indo and use words that I, I didn't even know I could use. Anyways, I spoke out. I think I might have started with the F word. It's a Tony Robbins thing, you know? I mean, like, as much as I hate that fucker, like, yeah, I have to sometimes use the F word to slice through. And I don't know, as soon as I dropped the F word, I think people just, it was just, there was a silence. And I just started saying how fucking glad I was to be there. And like I described in my first podcast, I let them know how sad I was that my cousins and my my mum's younger sisters weren't there with us at the same time. So uh, I suppose I held court for a while and jaws dropped. And when I stopped talking, one of the relos asked my mum in Indonesian, Adulin, ini siapa ini lin? Dia kaya ya orangnya? Like, like, I don't even know if I said that really well, but it was like she... She asked my mum, like, hey, who is this guy? Like, who is, th who is your son? Like, he sounds like grandpa. Um, I don't know. It was that moment, guys. It was just, uh, I don't know. It was just so full on. It was, it was electric. 
I don't know what to say. It, I'm sincerely at a loss for words. Um, but whatever it was, it jolt started me, kick started me. It put the fire back in me. Um, it was the exact moment that something massive happened. Everything changed. Everything felt good again, or at least felt again. Um, my spark was back. Um, you know, since then, my genuine obsessive compulsive nature and my need to create uh, and my need to inspire is back. For so long, I didn't have anything on my mind, or that's what it felt like. And I felt like I was just passing out instead of, you know, putting my head on the pillow at night and having all this crazy stuff that I'm, I'm always thinking about, like this obsessive compulsive kind of nature. So whilst I can't exactly explain how I managed to flick this switch, I suppose I can at least pinpoint when and whether finding my roots in China was exactly the thing that I needed in order for me to get out of the dumps, I, I can't be sure. But uh, what will it take for others to snap out of, out of it, you know? And how can I try to help others hit their reset buttons rather than just making them feel better temporarily through DNMs and getting wasted and hanging out? I've got no answers yet. But I thought I'd at least share the exact moment I found my mojo again. And, you know, so on that note, uh, sincerely, thanks for listening to my third podcast. I suppose I'm on a roll now. Uh, the new webcam has come in. I've just got to figure out how to use the thing and get over being awkward being in front of video footage as well. I mean, that's going to be something else. I'm always keen to hear what you guys think. So I have a lot of questions about this format and I'd love to do more. I'm thinking live streams as well as, you know, a talk show kind of set up on the couch with guests. That would be amazing. Uh, as well as like some tutorial stuff and maybe a little bit of gaming stuff as well. So sit tight. I'll be back again. I wouldn't even say next week. I might even be back at the end of this week. I really don't have a schedule at this stage, but um, I'm digging it. And the more I do, the better I get. So thanks for uh, sticking around. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.